this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. So uh, last week what I started working on was um, uh, presser cords. And what I'm doing is a series of presser cord hitches. So the first one that I'm going to work on will be the VT, also known as a Veldetant Tress. Um, let's get to it. So um, I'll start with the Veldetant Tress. And, and with it, I'm going to use a 30 inch cord. A lot of times with the Veldetant Tress, it's better to have a little bit longer of a cord because there are some braids that you, you have to do um, and it works out a little bit nicer that way. So I'm going to use the one that I have with uh, termination knots. Now to, to do it, um, you want to get the length that you think you're going to need. Now for me, I think it's about, let me see, one and one hand length in there. So I think I'll start here. So this is going to be my bottom leg. What I'm going to do is I'll start from the bottom up and I'll go upward wraps. So the first wrap is one and then two, and then three, and this is the fourth. Now on the fourth, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross over and go over the, the bottom one. Now from there, now I'll just braid the line downward. And then you want your legs to be um, equal. I'm gonna get my carabiner and the pulley. Okay, and I'll flip it. I like to rotate my, my carabiner so the gate is so I can clip it in easier. So what you want to do is test it out, make sure that it hangs, right? If, you, if you're uh, putting weight on it and it's sliding on you, that's not correct. So you want to retie it. But right now it looks like it's going to work. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it going from top to bottom. So I'll show you that. I like to do it. For me, I'm always the guy who likes to do them from top to bottom. Um, some guys like to wrap upward and that's fine. Um, I just like to go from the top to the bottom. So in the same thing, what I'll do is I'll um, get the length that I, I like for me, it's about from my hand to here. I'll start with that and see how that goes. So I'll put that part right here or back behind the line and then I'll start doing downward wraps. One, two, three, and this is the fourth. The fourth one crosses here. I'm gonna have to, I gotta make sure that they're gonna be, um, the legs are the same length. Now I'm gonna cross the top over the bottom. I think I gotta give a little bit more length. Okay, there I go. Now the top one crosses the bottom one, and then you start braiding downward. There you go. I'll do an extra braid probably. I'm just going to do an extra braid just to get it out of the way, kind of. I'm going to get my carabiner and my pulley. Get the pulley on. There we go. Now, it's good to have at least three uh, braids. All right, that's about right. Now that I um, got it tied, what I want to do is I'll connect to my belt and I'm just going to test it to make sure um, that it's going to hold me. And I'll just do a little bit of an on rope rest. Okay, now it's not sliding on me and it's, it's held right. So I know it's, it's done correctly. Now check it out. See how it's, you can see how it's like pointing upward, right? So when you want to come down, what you want to do is get a couple of fingers and then you're going to straighten it out. That's going to cause it to, to run on you. See? All right, there we go. Okay, so now that I um, tied the knot and I tested it, now I'm going to proceed up the tree. So you'll do that by, you know, body thrusting. And so every time you do the body thrust, you want to do a couple of pulls. One, two, and then you're going to tend your slack. And this one tends pretty easy. Mm. 
Oops. Usually after about two pulls, you want to tend it so you're not creating a big loop where you could fall. And then you could test. See, it's holding. It's not running on me. What's really nice is it tends really easily. So uh, now that I made it into the canopy, um, this VT is it's pretty is is a well-known knot um it, it, a lot of people like it because it's really easy to tend you know when you're going upward it really um lets you move upward pretty quick and a lot of guys really like the fact that when they decide to descend it really is really quick um if you don't like a quick knot it's probably not the one for you um but you know industry-wide this is a really well-known knot um some of the downsides for me is that the legs are long. So like when you, when you're gonna kind of bring your, um, you're gonna uh, ascend. So now, see how you have these long legs? Now you lift, and now when you're gonna sit, you got these, this little bit of length where you set back. So for me, I'm a short guy. That's not my best, the best feature for me. But hey, as a knot, it's a really smooth running knot. So uh, now I'm gonna go walk out on a limb here and, and just watch it, uh, you know, see how it moves inward and, and out a little bit. Let's see. Okay. So the two fingers, pull it. So really nice to walk out on. Oops, <laughs> that was a mistake. You want to try to keep your gloves out of the knot. <laughs> Got a rip in it. That's pretty smooth. Except for I keep on getting my ripped gloves in there. And then to go in, it's really a smooth tending knot and then when you're oops and then when you're ready to sit back it's pretty nice it holds all right so now I'm going to descend I'll do it with this hand here and so with this one a lot of guys will kind of just shoot out ah, it doesn't hang up on you and it's actually kind of a quick a quick one and then afterwards even though even if you like hit it hard and put a lot of weight on it it's really easy to to tend back up there you go well that was the Veldeton Tress the VT um, things to remember about it you want to have at least four wraps on top and at least uh, three braids um, remember that you got to tie it correctly it's one that if you don't tie correctly you could really fall far um, remember to if you're gonna do a new technique it's low and slow this is one of those knots that like in the industry it's really well known a lot of competitors like it because it can move quick up to tree and also you can descend quickly yeah there you go I hope you like the video so in the upcoming weeks we're gonna do some more uh, climbing hitches with press cords um, you know we're gonna do a series of them so if you guys like that type of thing stay tuned and like always comment like and subscribe um, hit that notification bell if you like what we do and by all means if you got people who like this kind of thing share our videos take care